Jake Huntington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Bill Franklin. And OpenStack and CloudOS are, are kind of a, a big piece of what's happening here at oh, HP yeah. Discover. And can you talk a little bit about why HP chose OpenStack to kind of be the, the underpinnings of, of CloudOS? Sure. sure. So um, thanks, for, thanks for having me here today, Jake. I, I think um, HP chose it for a number of reasons. The first one is we really believe that the cloud of the future will be based heavily on open source. And HP has a long, long tradition in open source. Um, and as a consequence, as we were looking and examining them, we see OpenStack as really the leader of those choices. So HP was involved in the formation of OpenStack. We are a platinum member in OpenStack. And we really, to an extent, kind of gone all in on OpenStack. So there are two keynotes today uh, around um, OpenStack, uh, very, very specifically, and, and then yeah. uh, Project Moonshot kind of played a big role in that. Um, what were kind of the highlights of those two keynotes? So I think um, in the keynote with Bill Vecti this morning around Moonshot, you got to see with CloudOS, we can easily install and rapidly set up infrastructure on top of a machine like Moonshot that provides a experience for an enterprise customer where they have a OpenStack infrastructure cloud built up for them quite rapidly. They have a service layer set of APIs that sits on top of our OpenStack um, cloud OS that allows you to easily deploy applications, to manage applications, and to help migrate applications onto that cloud that you've created running on Moonshot. And the second demo that was done today um, was using our CSA product to actually deploy those applications and manage that larger infrastructure. And the CSA product also incorporates HP Cloud OS. So we're really using uh, HP Cloud OS to give us a set of consistent experiences helping enterprises transform and migrate to the cloud. I think one of the things that was most impressive to me about the, the demo around um, Moonshot coupled with CloudOS was, was actually that, that sort of speed and simplicity of deployment because they did it like live on stage. Yeah. And um, that's not typically something that you would, you would want to count on working in a demo. Yeah, I think um, for m multiple of the CloudOS demos here, we really wanted them to be live because I think there's a lot of people talking about cloud, but HP really wanted people to understand when we first talked about Converge Cloud at HP Discover last year, that we've been on, on this journey and we're delivering solutions today that use HP Cloud OS that actually help people and enterprises stand up clouds and travel on that cloud journey. It's, it's live and it's here now. And if I was going to make a, a really big assumption, would it, would it be um, unreasonable to assume that, that maybe we will see cloud system and, and this ease of deployment going from Moonshot all the way down to the, the lower end of the spectrum? I think that's an excellent assumption to make. I think that we're really about giving customers choice and um, consistency across all of this, and CloudOS is the base architecture that you will see HP using across all of our cloud solutions, be they public, be they managed, be they private. 